Hi friends. When we get started this morning, we're going to continue to talk about generating ideas. And one way that has been very clear to us that Cynthia Ryland has come up with ideas are about her passions in life. Okay? So today, remember that Cynthia has said books alter our hearts. I think this was true when we've read lots of her other books before now. And I've noticed that in her books, she really has a passion for animals and pets. When she reads, she just makes us fall in love with different things that she's writing about. So I have a story to share with you today. And I want you to think about what is her passion in this text. This is one of her newer books called Life. So let's take a listen. Hello scholars, it's Miss McHale. I'm here today to read a story to you. I'm super excited to share this one with you because I think it relates to a lot of what we are dealing with right now um, at home with our families. So this story is called Life by Cynthia Ryland. Life. Life begins small. Even for the elephants, then it grows. Beneath the sun and the moon. Life grows. Ask any animal on earth, what do you love about life? The hawk will say sky. The camel will say sand. The snake will say grass. The turtle may remain quiet. It has seen much in its hundred years. But the turtle loves life. How could it not with so much rain on its back? Life is not always easy. There will probably be a stretch of wilderness now and then. But wilderness eventually ends. And there is always a new road to take. Remember this. In every corner of the world, there is something to love. And something to protect. And if one day it seems nothing beautiful will ever come your way again, trust the rabbit in the field and the deer who crosses your path. Trust the wolf and the wild geese who find their way back home. And these know something about life, that everything is changing. And it is worth waking up in the morning to see what might happen. Because life begins small. and grows. Well, I, the end. I hope you enjoyed this book, Life by Cynthia Ryland. I want you to think about how this book is dealing with what we are dealing with right now. Um, life is changing and there's things that are uncertain, but we know life is worth waking up to every day because we are going to find something that we love. I hope you have a wonderful day and you think about this story, okay? So first I have to say that's probably one of my favorite stories written by Cynthia Ryland. I think it's so beautiful and you can tell that her passion
for her writing comes through in her story with her talking about how life is so beautiful and of course the nature and the land and the animals that she includes is clearly a huge passion of hers. So today when we're brainstorming ideas for writing, so when we're brainstorming more ideas for writing, remember the people, activities, pets, sports, recreations, and other things that you love. Think about what you're passionate about. What do you long for or dream of? These strong feelings and dreams are the basis for meaningful writing. During your independent writing time today, I want you to take one of the ideas you think of and write all about it in your writer's notebooks. First, you're gonna fill this out. Can you answer these questions? I already have these sentence starters ready for you. So for example, the first one says, who are the people have, who have influenced you most? If I were to answer this first question, I'm gonna keep the rest of the words here and say, the people who have influenced me the most are my parents. I'm not just going to write that here. I need to say a little bit more. So my parents have influenced me the most in my life because my mom was a teacher and she inspired me to become a teacher just like her. And my dad is, and he was and still is, a sports fanatic. So I think I definitely got my love of sports from him, whether if it was watching sports, playing sports, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to continue to answer these questions here by getting rid of the three dots and finishing the sentence. I want you to answer each question before you go on and do some independent writing. 